So it looks like we got a bunch of parts that just came in. Let's dig out this uh, specific part that I need for this video. Ah, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Alright, came with a nice sticker. But here it is. Looks just like a normal, simple, black slave cylinder. So this here should be the solution to the push start issue that usually happens on the uh, B8 slash B8.5 Audi generations. And uh, basically, the push to start issue is the issue where you press the clutch pedal, but the car still doesn't start, and the message in the center MMI on your dash still says push to start. Um, that usually happens because uh, of an old or worn out clutch, or if you have an aftermarket clutch, and or if you upgraded your clutch line, which is my case. But I actually do not have that issue right now, but I feel like it might happen later on down the road because I do remember something like that happening on my B old B8S4 where I pushed the clutch and it still wouldn't start and I had to press the clutch a little bit more harder deeper down and it was finally able to start. And if you guys want more info about the uh, push to start issue, the JXP Performance webpage actually has a really nice and detailed breakdown or explanation of that issue. So let's go and get this guy installed. So like I said earlier, uh, I don't really have that push to start issue right now after installing the uh, stainless steel clutch line. But when I, when I did that install of the stainless steel clutch line, I did notice that my uh, slave cylinder right now is starting to wear out kind of because the boot that holds that rod in is not holding that rod in anymore. So this one here should help me solve two problems. Well, actually just one at this time, but help prevent the other one in the future. Oh, also, as you guys can see there, I bought it from ECS Tuning. Um, the reason why I bought it from ECS Tuning is because I, as you guys can see there, bought a whole bunch of other parts too for the BAS4. So I'll put the link down below for the JXB Extended Slave Cylinder in the description if you guys want to purchase that guy too. So let's go and uh, get this JXB Extended Slave installed on the BAS4. Got to pull a the B7 out of garage and pull the B8 into the garage. Alright guys, the B8 S4 is in the garage and I am just about to get this started. But before I do so, I just want to say, don't forget to subscribe to help support my channel and to follow the bills. All you guys got to do is hit that little red subscribe button right under this video. Thanks guys. Alright, so the first thing you got to do is remove the rear uh, underbody panel or the belly pan, the rear one. Because that's where it covers the uh, transmission and you know where the slave cylinder at, is at. So let me show you where it's at and what you need to take off to take that guy off so right here where it meets the front belly pan you have one one two and three um what is this Phillips looking like type of screw that i use just a flathead for then you have these uh t25 screws you have one right here in the center right in the center of this one and then two at the end and then lastly you have these two plastic pop-in um type of uh holders or what you could say one on that end and one on this end right here and all you do for that is you gotta pop out the, the tip of that uh plastic holder and then that guy should be able to come out so let me go ahead and remove this underbody panel and then show you what it looks like uh under that okay so that rear section of the uh belly pan is off and now let me show you where the slave cylinder is at so this is what it looks like and then if you slide over here there is the slave cylinder so this guy is really simple to remove um all you is is this little 12 point 10 millimeter uh screw and then the uh, uh clutch line here so the first thing I'm going to do is pull out the clutch line here 
and then cap it off real fast with a rubber little cap. And th the way you do that is by pulling this clip here out and then just pulling out the uh, uh, clutch line. So here it is now. I just pulled the clutch line out of the uh, slay center and capped it off. This is what it's looked like. And then of course the little clip that holds the uh, slay cylinder or the uh, clutch line in. Next thing I'm going to do is remove this um, 12 point screw like I said. It's just it's a 10 millimeter 12 point screw. I try to put I try to put my camera here to show you guys how I took it out, but um, I'm just gonna have to take it out and then show you guys after because there's no area where I can set the camera. All right, so the screw is now out. That's what it looks like, and now we can take out the slave cylinder. So what I do, what I'm going to do first is kind of like pull it out of this section because uh, this part of the slave cylinder is hitting this part. So if you try and pull it out of the transmission through this way, it's not gonna come out. So first you gotta do is push it out like this. There it goes, and then just kind of like wiggle it out, wiggle it out of the transmission now. And it's, there it goes, it's coming. Oh, there it is. Here's the sleeve center. Oh, and there it is. Like I said, mine's the rod. It's not staying inside the sleeve center anymore. And that's how you remove the sleeve center. Now let's get this area cleaned up, and then pop in the new. Uh, JXP Performance Extended Slave Cylinder. So here's the comparison between the two. Top one here is the JXP Extended, and this is my OEM one. When I told you that my um, rod is not staying in, it's because this end piece of the uh, rubber hose is like really loose now, so it just comes off like that. So good thing and good time to replace it with the uh, JXB Performance Extended Slave. Now let's get this guy in. All right, guys, so the JXB Extended Slave is in. Um, the way I did it was I first primed the slave cylinder. I'll show you that with the old slave cylinder on how I primed the slave cylinder. And after I primed the slave cylinder, I actually installed the line first onto the slave before installing it into the transmission. So let me go ahead and show you how I uh, primed the slave cylinder with the old slave cylinder. All right, so priming the slave cylinder basically means um, inserting or putting fluid into the slave before installing. Um, the benefits of that is that it'll help a lot with, you know, when it comes to uh, bleeding the system. And the way I did that was by using this uh, oiler here, oil or can here, and, you know, of course, put the brake fluid in there. Um, slowly pump oil into the slave or the uh, clutch line port here, but before you do that, um, compress the piston in the slave by, by pushing the rod in and then infl insert fluid into this section here slowly and continuously insert fluid while you let this the rod end of the slave uh, come out so basically it's sucking in the fluid here and then and uh, bring in the fluid into the slave so Pump in fluid here slowly as you let the piston or this rod in um, come out slowly. And then after that, you can basically kind of pump out the air bubbles by pushing this rod here slowly too. So when you push it slowly, air bubbles will come out here until only fluid will come out. And then that means that you are most likely have the slave cylinder full of fluid rather than air. Okay, so now it's time to bleed the system. So the way I'm going to bleed the system is by using this Mighty Vac. Uh, bleed kit here that I bought from Harbor Freight's tool. So the way uh, I'm going to use this is first put this and or, or first you got to assemble it if you buy brand new and it looks just like this and one end of course on this uh, little catch bottle goes into the pump here and then the other end goes into the the bleed port of whatever you're trying to bleed because I believe this kit can also bleed, bleed uh, brake calipers. But anyways this end here is going to go on the bleeder of the uh, slave like this. And then what you do is you just apply uh, pressure or vacuum by pumping this um, lever here. And just keep pumping and pumping and pumping. And then um, you're just going to crack open this bleep, uh, little bleeder nipple here and let it suck out all of the air. So let me go ahead and bleed my system now. Okay, let me see if I can try and get this uh, bleeding process on video. So like I said, this end here onto the bleeding port of the slate cylinder. Do not crack this open yet because you need to apply uh, vacuum pressure. So now, 
you should be able to start pumping. Let me grab this here. I usually just pump it up to, oh shoot, it's too, I usually just keep pumping it up all until 20. And then once you get it up to 20, you can crack open the, um, the, the little bleeder nipple up here and then air bubbles should start you can, you should start seeing air bubbles come out here oh also i forgot to mention make sure that your fluid is topped off and not low when you're bleeding the system up at the uh, reservoir up there at the uh, master cylinder all right guys we now have clutch pedal all right now gonna put everything back together and take the BAS4 for a test drive and see how it is. Alright guys so it's been about a week since the install of the JSB extended slave cylinder. I just wanted to put some more drive time into the car before I know that it's um, ready to go. So of course after the install I took it for the test drive and it was good so I decided to take the car uh, or give more drive time and drive the car for a whole week to work and the car I did not have any issues with the clutch system so it's definitely good to go so that is how you install a slave cylinder on a B8S4 and like I said this should work for all other models in the B8 generation with a manual transmission as well but if you guys have any further questions uh, just comment it down below and I'll try my best to help you guys out Anyways, that's going to end it for this video here, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to help support my channel. Comment any sort of feedback to help my channel grow. And like this video if you guys find it helpful. Thanks, guys. I will see you guys in the next video.